Let's look now at a couple dealing with artificial gravity. Okay, the first problem is dealing with the space station. We're given the radius of the space station. The space station is moving in a circle. We've got the radius of 1,700 meters. And it's moving in a circle such that the astronaut feels a centripetal acceleration, right? Because he is moving in a circle, therefore something has to be pushing in on him. Okay, and so we know that the acceleration is going to be due is going to be equal to v squared over r. Now you may say, well, it says experience is a force equal to that of gravity. Well, force equals the mass times acceleration, and since the mass isn't changing, that means that the acceleration will have to be the same if we want the force to be the same. So the acceleration is going to have to be 9.81. We're looking for the velocity, and we're given the radius, which is 1,700. So we'll multiply by 1,700, take the root, and that should give us the answer. So 9.81 times 1,700, and then we'll take the square root, and that will give us the answer. Now, if I'm going too fast for you here, um, you're welcome to ask me a question, and I'll... I will answer it as soon as I can. Um, I, we did these in my class, and that's why I expect that my students should be familiar with these questions, and they shouldn't have too much of a problem with it. Okay, uh, the second problem dealing with artificial gravity is this one. We've got a space lab with two rings. Okay, so basically we've got an outer ring. Okay, and then we've got a couple of arms coming in, and then we've got an inner ring. Okay. And the idea is, on the outer ring, we want the acceleration to be the same as gravity, 9.81. On the inner ring, we want it to be 3.72 okay, meters per second squared, units of, of acceleration. We know that the radius to the outer ring is 2150 meters. Okay? So we're going to start off the same way, A equals v squared over r. We'll use the acceleration of gravity, 9.81. 81 equals v squared over 2150. So we'll go ahead and solve for the velocity there. So 9.81 times 2150, and then square root that. And so we got 145.2. So v equals 145.2 meters per second. And now uh, you can't go ahead and use this for the Mars one because uh, the velocity isn't going to be the same on the in outside and the inside. The stuff on the outside has to travel farther in the same amount of time, so it's actually going to go faster. So on the inside, we know the velocity should be less than 145.2. Now, what has to be the same? Well, the period has to be the same. So we use the velocity equals 2 pi r over t. Right, T is the period, the amount of time it takes to do one revolution, and then 2 pi r is the circumference. That's the distance for one, one uh, rotation. So the distance for one rotation divided by the time for one rotation, distance divided by time, should give you the velocity. So let's go ahead and plug that in. 145.2 is equal to 2 pi r, which is 2150 over the period. So let's solve for t. We'll multiply by t, divide by 145. So we'll go 2 pi 2150 divided by 145.2. That should give us the period, which is 93.03. So 93.0. And I think if we round that, it should be 4, right? Oh, 04 seconds, because it's in, in SI. OK, now I'm going to finish this up really quickly. We've got A equals V squared over R, right? And then you've got V equals 2 pi R over T. You'll plug in the information that you have. We want the acceleration to be 3.72. Um, the period has to be the same. So that's going to be so 2 pi R over 93.04. Now if I plug this in, I'm going to have 2 pi divided by 93.04, oh, and so that's 0.06. So the velocity has to be equal to 0.0675 r. And so now I'm going to put this in for v. So I'm going to have 3.72 equals 
0.0675 r squared, because the velocity is squared over the r. Distribute the squared to both of these. The squared over the r is going to cancel out with this one. So I divide 3.72 divided by 0.0675 squared. And we get our answer, which is 816. So r equals 816 meters. And there you go. That's the answer. Hope that you're able to get something from this. And good luck in the future.